OK, this is all Tyson Fury's fault. The big man has been teasing us with a potential move into mixed martial arts. But just how hard is it to be a UFC fighter? Well, we're here in Liverpool to find out from the gorilla Darren Hill, UFC star, who's going to take us through some of the basics of the sport, show us what it's all about. We've seen you in the last few weeks working with Tyson Fury and kind of showing in the ropes. How good was he? Looks like he was doing all right. I'll give an honest uh, opinion about him. Obviously, boxing, you know, he's, 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 a, he's a terrific world-class boxer. But then when we introduced him sort of to like MMA, elbows, kicks, knees, and obviously take down the fence, the, the thing I was most impressed with was like his elbows and his knees. Like he had good posture and good movement and the way he rolled his elbow, uh, rolled his shoulder to throw elbows and knees and then he moved off with his angles, it, it impressed me a lot. How long would it actually take someone to go from zero experience of the type of things you're talking about there, takedowns, ground game, all that stuff, to actually be able to compete at a decent level? I, I, th I think with the right work, with the right people, the right coach, if we could talk about someone with nothing to something on a decent level, I think three to four years. Really? I do, yeah, because there's so much to learn. You've made that same jump as well, haven't you? You yeah. start off doing Muay Thai and then yeah. you've got to put this all in as well. How daunting was that first time for you, stepping in, thinking we're going to do some wrestling today? Yeah, I remember when I, I came in uh, to Carbon when I was only like 17, 18, and it was, it was like a fish out of water. It was like being thrown to the sharks. So my stand-up was always good and I was always able abled on the feet, but it was just like, it was a whole nother thing. I'm going to be the fish out of water today while we, we kind of go through some things that if you were in charge of bringing Tyson into MMA, the sort of things you think he needs to, to focus on. So just very briefly, Dan, what are the sort of things we're going to be looking at today? When we're going to start is, is, is obviously Tyson, we all know, standing up wise, boxing, you know, his boxing's terrific, but as I've just told you about, he's got to worry about his legs. He's got to, first, he's got to worry about kicks, checking kicks. You know, he, he can't have that same boxing stance. But most boxers, they stand like sort of side on, mm -hmm. and, and that's he's open there to, to taking a leg kick, and, and as you know, he's just going to keep getting battered there, and his legs are going to go from under him. Mm -hmm. But basic for me, it's starting off. It's got to be takedown defense. He needs to learn how to defend takedowns because that's what every guy, you know, whoever he fights, is going to be ultimately looking for to take him to the ground. Right, I'm gonna get the kit on. Say my prayers. <laughs> we'll give this a crack. See you in a minute. Right. As you see there, there's just there's nothing really in them. Not it's really. just a bit of leather. No. <clears throat> but you feel light, you feel like light now. Yeah. So does the the other guy, you know what I mean? I don't feel light now. <laughs> Do that thing the That's camera. the way it goes. <laughs> Do that right? Yeah. Let's go and die. Okay. Don't get <laughs> Boxers, they have the legs yeah. side on. I would tell him to have his leg sort of bent mm -hmm. and crushed there. So when I'm taking leg kicks, my leg's sort of a bit more, like, it feels more solid instead of that. You're sort of leaving your leg flaccid there to take kicks. Yeah. I would leave it more bent there. And as a guy's kicking, I would do just a normal tie boxing shin block okay so, so if you want i'll be sure you know so if i can wait so just like if, that yeah? if, if you want to if you kick me here yeah so feel a little bit better as you go to kick i would tell him to be blocking right. and straight back down so boom back down and then he comes with the punch just so you're blocking it with your shin yeah so it's shin on shin if me and you were fighting now and i'm I was to kick you and you were to kick me and we both blocked. I don't think it'd hurt. I think it'd probably hit you more than me because I've got a lot more experience in it. Yeah. But still, your adrenaline's running so high, you're only going to feel it the next day. But no. But you are going to feel I it. I think whatever we do, it's going to hurt me more than I, it hurts you. Yeah, most probably. One, inside, two, outside, three. And that is just the principle of blocking kicks. You go for my legs. Mm. Me. Walking right into it. And obviously I'm going to go slow because even to the head, so uh -huh. you come for the takedown. Right. So that's what I'd be practicing before we and you are fighting. Every time I come for the takedown, you can be sure, you know, yeah? Okay. Every be careful. <laughs> Trust me, I will be. <laughs> Every time I come for the takedown, uh -huh. I'm up. There. So sometimes you'll get the face, and sometimes you'll get the body. It just depends how quick 
your reaction time is. So if you've got hands up and I go, you react. Yeah, so that's the chest. React faster. The face. I would teach you to hold, so I would step in, mm -hmm. either hold the back of the neck there, mm -hmm. or as you've seen on Fiori, he was coming with both hands mm -hmm. here and pushing down and me in. So how are you supposed to kind of throw elbows so properly? Going back to it, guard, guard up. It's, it is sort of the same. So if you, were, if you were throwing an elbow to me, mm -hmm. Fury actually done this really excellently. I told him not to think about throwing his arm, to think about throwing the shoulder. So hands up. If you're throwing a punch, you throw with the shoulder as well. Mm -hmm. I said, same principle, but just make sure your hands very tight into the chest and you're trying to hit with the point. Mm -hmm. So if I was to, in the face, obviously I'm not going to do it. But if we're fighting, I'd want to come here mm -hmm. with the point, maybe nose, top of the head, there, mm -hmm. the jaw. That would be my preference. So if you do it on me, you step in, do it slow. See, see how far that foot needs to step right in there, huh? in my area. So you step, foot. boom, boom, see that? And again, hands up, step, boom, one more, boom. Perfect. All right. Step in. Perfect. What 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 did you do though? Hit you with that part, oh, didn't I? Uh, it's yeah. no good. It's no good hitting you there. The point of the, the, the uh, elbow. Let's go again. Okay. Step in. Boom. Perfect. But turn it over, you know, as I told you at the shoulder, you want it right over. Let's go again, looking at me at all times. And the kick. Wait. Good. <laughs> and again, defend. Up. Step in. Boom. Perfect. Now we'll go with the knee, yeah, we'll introduce the knee as well. Okay. Go move around like a fight. Same thing, step into me. Boom. Yes, nice. Make sure you're always using your hip. Hip, yeah, hip forward. Check the kick. Boom. Step in. Boom. Hi. Yeah, and then we've got never made this step. one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna need some water. <laughs> if I was <coughs> teaching anyone, and especially Fiori, the first thing I would teach, I wouldn't even teach a jab, I wouldn't teach no kicks, I would teach him how to sprawl. Yeah. If I imagine a pot and, a, and an opponent trying to take me down, my hands are going to go straight to the mat like that, mm -hmm. my arms on the mat, and I'm going to shoot my legs back and crash my hips to the ground. So the camera's looking at me if I do it from here. So very slow, hands, legs, hips. If you was the guy trying to take me down, and I still stay high like this, uh -huh. you've still got room to, you know, ultimately yeah. carry on with the takedown sort of the momentum. Right. If I crash my hips, my hips are sort of going to be crashed on your head. So if I'm crashing... Yeah, I've got a lot less options here, Darren. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you even try, try, try come up. It's not there. You're coming to try and take me down. You're on the legs. From here now, I'm going to crash. Can you feel that? I can. You know, my, my ribs into your head now, uh -huh. hips are on the mat. Mm -hmm. And I've sort of got nowhere to go, right? In, in MMA, you have got more than a million options, uh -huh. but I need to stop them million. So if I'm a wrestler or MMA guy, I'm coming uh -huh. in, so come the legs, legs back, crash. Yes, but remember, I've still got arms. You've got to block them arms. Uh -huh. Make sure you're heavy on my head. Is that heavy enough? Yeah, heavy. I'm gonna block. I'm gonna crash. Yeah. <laughs> Come round. Yeah. Off the leg. Give a few. This is where Fiori, he definitely doesn't want to be. So if I was a guy taken down, obviously you've gone for the legs <laughs> and I'm on top here, you know, you're gonna close your legs. This your your Fiori now, I'm 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 obviously the right. the steep A or whatever, you know the the first thing in MMA, they're going to use a lot of wrist control, so mm -hmm. they're going to be looking to tie him down, you know, he either or, hands on the chest, hands on the belly, they're going to be looking for punches, mm -hmm. and when Fury breaks, you know, his guard, they're going to be looking, you know, to like pass one leg over. So just explain, sorry, so what, what I had, my, my legs around, that's the guard? That's full guard. Uh -huh. This now is half guard. Uh -huh. So this is half guard. I'm going to have, you know, my shoulder into you there. Mm -hmm. I'm ultimately going to be looking, you know, to come over. Mm -hmm. If I'm here, this full, is a, full mount. This is a nightmare, this right? This is a nightmare because I've got so much momentum mm -hmm. to hit and finish. 
You know, if he wants to stay inside the draw, that's okay, because yeah, I'm walking around, and you know, he's so sure you're on. Know, what would you know? Like, you know, right. obviously you don't, you don't know a lot, but... I'd be trying to get some space somewhere, yeah. right? You try and you know. <laughs> if I was to teach Floyd mm -hmm. some submissions, you know, obviously he, he's very capable of pulling them off in the fight. Right now he's just been took down, so we're in full guard. Mm -hmm. You're going to be obviously raining down punches and looking to pass. Mm -hmm. First thing I would tell him to do is hook the, heart, the arms, which I would have here, like this. So right now, there's nothing you can do. Yeah, no. he head buttons are legal, yeah. and you can't punch. Kiss is illegal. Kiss is illegal. Surely might like it. <laughs> so here, you know, it's your now, your goal now is to release your arms. Yeah. I would tell Fiori, hook the arms, and then release one to grab the head. Simply why I want to start building up a triangle now yeah. for Fiori. So I would have one leg on the ground there. I would maybe put this and I'd tear to my side. My, there's, there's two triangles, left or right. I would have my right leg over mm -hmm. and I'd start working this arm now. So that's remember I told you before, wrist control. Mm -hmm. So I'd start working the bicep, wrist control, come through. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. <laughs> You're gonna be punching, I wanna be pulling, pulling the arms. Like that. I'm gonna pick either right or left. Me preferably. I like to go for the left side. So I'll bring your head over here. I'm only thinking now about you not posturing up and punching. So if I let off and I'm trying to posture, that's what you want, you want to be passing. So I'm gonna stay strong here. From there, one leg, two leg, take to the side. Straight away, can you feel my leg mm -hmm. resting heavy on the top of it? The upper back, so you're still not posturing now. If I give this off here, yeah. you, you know, you're going to posture. I look at the arms, nearly releasing. So I'm going to leave that leg heavy. Mm -hmm. Now, next one, bicep. I'm going to try and bring this leg through. So I'm, can you already feel tight? Mm -hmm. So I'm not letting you posture whatsoever. I'm going to pull wrist control, kick through. Now, nearly triangle. This left leg is going to point that way. And the right leg is going to come over. I'm still not choking you from here. Now I need to transfer this arm, lifting my hips up to there. It's nearly on. No. For you, it's, it's panic way up. You are not getting onto this. It feels a bit inward, it's going to leave me here. I'm just so I'm going to leave you. Yeah. And let you panic. You're going to sit there. You panic to the And then as you feel now, mm -hmm. can you feel it slowly going on? Until I feel that. And as soon as you feel it's happening, it's all about the fight's done and, you know, I've, I've won. Yeah. But as I said, basics, if, I was, if I've just been taken down with Flory, you come here, I'm going to start using the wrists. I'm going to lock up these wrists, trying to lock your head. Basically now, arm or right hand is going to come through your leg. There. Yeah, you feel this? Yeah, it's in <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> right leg, same thing. Uh -huh. Bump. This leg now, you see my left leg? Uh -huh. It's going to swing right round to the top of your head. Feel that? Uh -huh. Now I'm heavy on. The arm bars on. Feel that? Yeah. So now he's coming to guard. Yeah. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Two basic submissions that I teach the Fiori get ups. Sprawls, striking obviously, which is his forte, but they're, they're basics. And as I say basics, I mean they require a lot of dedication, a lot of work to pull off. But Tyson, it's your old pal here, Darren Till, mate. The world of MMA is waiting for you. So come on, let's get down the gym and do some training, mate, for your next fight.